Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joyce McTeer and I am the owner and operator of La Georgia Creation Designs. I'm coming to you all today with an African print earring. Okay, so here are the items that you are going to need for this pop-up DIY. I have been wanting to bring y'all this uh, earring for quite some time. I have been so busy with everything y'all know. Y'all know I've been busy. So let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, excuse my nose. First of all, y'all, you're going to need a CD, okay? Because the size that you're going to need for... Uh, to make this has to be the size of a CD, okay? The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need a marker. Make sure you have your handy-dandy glue gun because you're going to need your glue gun. You're going to need your wire cutters, your round nose pliers, scissors, your fabric, and this is the choice of fabric that I am going to be using. And you're going to need two fish hooks because you're making a pair of earrings. So two fish hooks. You're also going to need two uh, coral shells. Now, you don't necessarily have to use the coral shells if you don't want to. You you can. You don't have to use the coral shells, okay? But I am going to be putting the coral shells on the earrings that I am going to be creating, okay? You're also going to need two pieces of 20 gauge wire and cut it about maybe five or six inches long, okay? Now, you're definitely going to need these. These are called... These are called glue style necklace cord crimp, okay? These are for necklaces. But I'm going to be using this for, for to make some earrings, I ordered this off of Amazon, okay? You won't be able to find this and no, I don't know if Hobby Lobby sells this, but I know Joanne's Fabric, Michael's, and AC Moore does not sell this. I had to order this off of Amazon, okay? These are 12 millimeter gold plated uh, crimp necklace cord crimp caps okay and they're the they're the glue in style so basically i'm going to be use i'm going to be gluing in i'm going to glue the fabric in here okay and you're going to so you're going to need two of these now like i said you will not be able to find these in michael's joanne's fabrics i don't know about hobby lobby because i haven't been to hobby lobby in a while but i do know that those stores do not sell this type of specialty. This is like a specialty item. And you're gonna have to go somewhere like Amazon or uh, it's another spot that they order stuff out to find them, okay? So basically, we're gonna go ahead and get into this DIY. Set everything off here on the side. I have already cut my fabric, as you can see. And all you're going to do, basically, this is really, 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 really simple. You can make this earring, I'm going to say, in f five minutes, okay? It may take me a little longer because I'm running my mouth and talking, but you can make this earring in five minutes. So you're going to trace your, you're going to trace your fabric with your video CD. You're going to cut it out using your scissors. And then the next step we're going to do is we're going to fold it over. Now, you, it depends on uh, how you want it. I don't. It, it really depends on how, excuse my nose, y'all, how you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I had to go blow my, my raggedy nose, y'all. So anyway, it really depends on how, you know, how you want your fabric to show or how you want your design to show on your fabric. So basically, I'm just going to fold it. You're going to fold it over just like this. Okay? You're going to fold it over. All right? Just like that. And then you're going to make some pleats. So you're going to start right. You're going to start down at the end with a small little pleat. And then you're going to make pleats 
all the way over on your whole, on this whole <clears throat> piece of fabric. Just small little pleats. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is because it has to be small enough to fit inside the bead cap. Okay, meaning that if it's too if it's too big, it will not fit. It has to kind of sort of be it has to be just right. Like literally, when I say just right, I mean just right. So that's what you want to do. You want to just fold it, fold it, fold it. And then you're going to have a bunch of pleats. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your bead cap, okay? You're going to have to find a way to hold this at the same time because you're going to be doing it's, you're going to be doing a lot at, at, at one time. When you put this inside your bead cap, make sure that your bead cap is going to the side. Yeah, make sure it's going to the side, okay? So I'm gonna take my glue gun and I'm going to drop a smidge of glue down inside of here. Now, I wanna tell y'all too, this stuff gets really hot. It really gets hot. So you put that down in there like that. You set this down for a minute until you can get this organized. Okay? And all you're going to do is take this, push this in here like that, and push it all the way in. Just like that. Okay? And then you just go where you saw the glue and you just continue to push it in. And it's going to, uh, it's going to start, you know, it's going to stick. And I'm trying to clean this off. Okay. And this is pretty much what your earring is going to look like. Now, this is really gorgeous, y'all. Now, like I said, you don't necessarily have to use the shell, but I'm going to use the shell because the shell is going to give it a different look. So basically, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 20 gauge wire. I'm going to bend it and you already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to bend it like this. I'm going to take my round nose pliers. and I'm going to bend it just like this. Just like that, okay? I'm going to take and put it through here and push it through that hole and bring it up. Just like that. Okay, this is pretty much what you're gonna have. All right? And I'm gonna twist it Maybe once or twice. I'm going to twist it once or twice. So I'm going to twist it one time. Wait a minute. Twist it all the way around one time. And then twist it another time. The second time I twist it, it's going to be, the twist is going to be facing me. So it's not going to be to the side like this. It's going to be this way. Okay, and all you're going to do is take your coil shell, slide that down like that, and push that down. Okay, hope y'all can see what I'm doing. And then you're just going to take and hold these two pieces as tight as you can. It doesn't really matter whether you wrap from the front or the back, and then you can just bring this piece down from the back, I'm doing it from the back, and I'm just gonna wrap it around my front piece. Make sure you hold it as tight as you can, okay? 
and you only you need you can do it once or twice or how many times you need to do it and bring it around a little bit more just like that and it's in there and it's not going to go anywhere and then I'm going to cut this little extra piece off back here that's sticking out just like this. Snip that. And I am going to make a loop. I'm going to make a loop. So I'm going to just pinch that over. Actually, I need to cut this off just a tad bit more because it's too long. And then I'm just going to make my loop just like this. Okay. And then add on my fish hook. So I'm just going to open this up just like this. Slide this on here like this. Oh, actually, I got it the wrong way. And close it up with my flat nose pliers. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here you have it. These are gorgeous. Okay, and they're made with necklace cord crimp ends. Okay, this is for necklace. Now the size is this the size of these I forgot to mention, they are 12 millimeter, but they come in many different sizes. I think they come in 8, 10, and 12. And these are gold plated. Okay. So I just wanted to come to you all really, really quick. And this is something that you can make. You can make these earrings in about five or I'm going to say about 10 minutes. Get yourself some fabric, cut it up, and you can have it done in about five or 10 minutes. Okay? So I hope you all have enjoyed this, uh, this pop-up DIY tutorial. And also, I want to tell you, too, that you can put some um, Mod Podge down on the ends of the fabric to keep it from fraying because if you use the Mod Podge, you can probably paint the whole earring with the Mod Podge. But if you choose to use the Mod Podge, and let me show you what it looks like, they do have this in the Dollar Tree. If you do use it, let it dry completely, and uh, it will it will even give the even it will even give the fabric a little a little shine. Okay, so with that being said, I want to thank y'all for joining me today for this pop-up DIY. I greatly appreciate it so very much. And what else was I going to say? Oh, and if you are new to this here platform channel, please subscribe. And you subscribe by hitting the bell on the side. Make sure when you hit it, you hit the all button. OK, so that every time I upload a video, because I do upload often, you will definitely be notified. I want to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like and share. I greatly appreciate you all watching. Have a wonderful and awesome day. Peace and blessings, everyone. See ya.